Hello and welcome, this is Linus. Today I'm going to launch a new Android programming series. This will be about a library called Endengine, and we will focus on game development. You might ask, why would we use Endengine? Well, simply put, we will be able to create more powerful and better games with it, much much faster than we would if we designed everything from scratch, as we have done before, as you might have seen in the Endless Running Game series. The end engine series will be quite long. During the start of the series, we are going to learn how to create most of the things we need for a game. For example, creating sprites, handling collisions, and making sounds. In the later part of the series, we are going to create an actual game. Before you continue watching this series, make sure you have JDK 1.6 installed, as well as either a good computer or an Android phone with at least Android version 2.2. If you have a good computer, you will be able to emulate Endengine on the computer. I won't be able to do that, so I'm going to use my phone. I'm going to use a software called the Droid App Screen, so you can see what's going on on the device of my phone. But if you have an Android device with at least Android version 2.2, you can plug it in and install your application on it to try it out. This is the end of this video. In the next video, which will be up shortly, we are going to install and enjoy into Eclipse. And after that video, we are going to get started with actual programming. The next video will be up soon, so if you look forward to this series, please give it the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you feel like it, it will help a lot. So stay tuned for the next video, it will be up soon. Bye bye.